Good morning children. Today we are going to do a new lesson in English grammar. The name of the lesson is nouns. Nouns are also known as naming words. Noun is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. Let's by heart it again. Noun is the name of a person, place, animal, birds or thing. There are some nouns given in the picture. You have to match the picture with the correct word. What do you see here? This man is wearing a stethoscope on his neck around his neck I'm sorry so this shows that he is a doctor in the second picture we see a book book is a thing in the third picture we see the school library. Library is a place. A place where we read different kinds of books. Chair. Chair is a thing. School. Can you see the school building? Yes. School is a place where we go, go to learn. So school is also a noun. You have to match school. The next we have is, what is this children? Horse. Horse is the name of an animal. Horse. Horse is also a noun. Train. Noun. Cow. Again, name of an animal and cow is a noun. There's an engineer here. Match the word engineer. And what is this? A bird. What is the name of the bird? Parrot. That's right. So match parrot. What do you understand? Words like? Engineer, doctor, a name of people. Words like school, library are names of places. Words like book, chair, train are names of things. Words like horse, cow, parrot are names of birds and animals. Remember, all the naming words are called Nouns. In short, noun is a name of a person, place, animal or thing. Let's take out our grammar book. Let's take out our grammar book and open to a new page children. And we will write down the activities. Today is 29 September 2020. So write 29-9-20. Lesson number 3. Nouns. In the bracket, naming words. Noun is the name of a person, place, animal or thing. Write down neatly. Leave a line. So that your book looks neat. Write A in the margin. Capital A. Write down naming words from the box given below in the proper column. First, we will make a nice box and write down the, uh, and write down the naming words. C-R-O-W crow. M-O-N-K-E-Y monkey. 
C A R P E N T E R carpenter H O M E home T E A C H E R teacher P A R R O T parrot L I O N lion M A R K E T market T A B L E table C O M P U T E R computer Once you write down neatly the words in the box we will make columns you will have to make five columns that is first column person place animal bird and thing children from the bracket let us pick up each word the first word is crow c r o w what is a crow is crow a name of a person no crow is a bird so we will write down crow in the column where it is written bird write down crow in the bird column the next word is monkey monkey is a name of an animal monkey is name of an animal so can you see the animal column children write down neatly monkey the next word is carpenter carpenter is a one who makes furnitures a person so we will write in the persons column person carpenter home home is where we live a place so it will come in the place column column number 2 place home teacher who is a teacher a person who teaches us in school is a teacher so teacher will come in the first column that is person teacher the next word is parrot parrot is again a bird so we will write parrot in the bird column lion is an animal put lion in the animal column market is again a place where we go to buy vegetables and fruits have you been to a market children yes so market comes in the place column now we have table and computer what is table and computer they are things so write it down in the things column now let's read the column children person place animal bird and thing person carpenter teacher place home market animal monkey lion bird crow parrot thing table computer very good now we will move on to the next activity on the next page neatly write b capital b in the margin circle the nouns in the sentences given below miss has given you all sentences you will have to copy it down neatly and we'll have to circle the nouns i will do it for you the cow gives us milk now what is a noun here cow is the name of an animal so we need to circle cow and milk is a thing so circle milk my father is a doctor father is a name of a person doctor is again a person so it's a noun the book is on the table book is a thing and table is also a thing so circle book and table 
My mother goes to church daily. Mother is again a person. So circle mother and church is the name of a place where people go to worship. The other places of worship are temple, mosque, gurdwara, agyari and so on. The fifth sentence, the Taj Mahal is situated in Agra. Taj Mahal is a place of a monument. So please circle Taj Mahal and Agra is a city where it is situated. So Agra is a place and Taj Mahal is a monument. So the Taj Mahal is situated in Agra. Moving on children, we will go to the third page. Write C in the margin. Circle the odd one out. Now this is going to be fun. You have to tell me which is the odd one here in the first line. Doctor, teacher, book, driver. Now if you notice doctor is a person, teacher is also a person. Is book a person children? No. But driver is also a person. So book is an odd one out. Let us circle book. Home. Girl. School. Temple. Home is a place where we live. School is a place where we go to learn. And temple is a place where we go to worship. So this is a place, this is a place as well as this is a place. But girl is not a place. Girl is the name of a person. So girl is odd here. Let us circle girl. In the next row, key, book, pencil, horse. Key is a thing. Book is a thing again. Pencil is also a thing. Is horse a thing children? No, horse is an animal. So we'll have to circle out horse. Parrot, cow, dog, cat. Parrot is a bird. The rest are animals. So parrot is the odd one out. In the fifth line, we have rose, lily, jasmine and apple. If you notice children, rose is a flower, lily is also a flower and jasmine is also the name of a flower. But apple is a fruit. So apple is an odd one out. Children, I want you to write neatly in your English grammar book and you have to send me the notes for correction on Friday. Make sure that you write neatly and circle neatly. Okay, children? Stay home, stay safe, stay blessed. Thank you.